everyone, it's Holly here from Crafty Screen. Today I'm going to show you how to produce a layered print so you can essentially print multiple colours but kind of using a layering technique. I'm going to do this by using paper stencils. I want to show you how cool the new fluorescent ink range is that we're doing at Crafty Screen. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I work my stencil out. So, this is what I'm going to print, like a little kind of jazzy poison bottle, potion bottle, whichever, whichever you want to think about it. And um, yeah, I'm doing this because obviously spooky season is well on its way and I wanted to try something a bit kind of quirky for that. So enough of that. Um, so I've annotated this so I know exactly what layer is what. So the first layer would be, your base layer would be your bottle. Your second layer would be your label. The third layer would actually be the little skull. And then the last layer would be the details. So like the eyes or any little kind of bits and bobs you want to put on your top layer, which would probably normally be black. And I started by cutting these out with a craft knife. So obviously that's your bottle. So I essentially have printed that design out four times and just cut out the parts I wanted for each layer. I've actually wrote on the top there. So I know that's layer number one. Layer number two would be, sorry, my mind went really blank. So layer two would be this one, so your label. Layer three would be your skull. And your final layer obviously would be your details. So I've just carefully cut this out. I've used a craft knife, but you can use scissors or a scalpel or however you want to cut it out. But obviously if you're doing this with kids, then it's always be boys. Next, I would actually take these to the screen. So you'd need four screens or you'd need one screen that you're willing to clean each time quickly and let it dry, a bit more of a faff, but it's still easy to do. It would just take a bit more time. But I'm gonna, for the ease of doing this video, I'm gonna use four different screens. The screens I'm going to use are, I'm so organized, aren't I? But I'm not, let's be honest. The screens I'm going to use are this size, which I always called A4. And that's what I've got on doing, sorry. It's actually 43T, which is a nice mesh to use if you're going to do, if you're going to print onto fabric or paper. But today I'm just going to print onto paper just to show you the technique. Place your stencil in the middle of your screen. Start taping it down, making sure that all of your screen is basically covered in tape. So basically all you've got showing is your print area. You continue this on all four screens. Place your screen in the middle of your paper. Add your ink to the top of your print area. And get printed. Repeat this again for your second layer. And your third layer. my printing and I want to say it was one second what have I done to my camera was that there worse so guys I've done my printing I want to say it was successful but I had a bit of a disaster which is pretty standard for me and but I got one print one print I planned on doing six I think I started doing six one came out okay and it was because I'm an impatient person and I decided I was going to print on top of ink that wasn't fully dry. Like I touched it, well, that's dry, but it wasn't. <laughs> Don't do that. Word of warning, you'll end up with lots of smudges all over your, over your prints. But yeah, this is what I ended up with in the end. So I got one print that was half okay. Like the black's super rough, but you live and you learn, don't you? It's one of those things when you do art or crafting, 
things go wrong sometimes, but I'm relatively happy with what it, I kind of did. But the main thing is the fluorescent inks are pretty damn cool. I'm a big fan, so I would definitely be printing with these a hell of a lot over the next few months with spooky season being on the way. So yeah, if you liked my video or just thought it was, you just got to like it out of sympathy because I had such a disaster. I think you should do that. Just like out of sympathy. <laughs> and I will talk, see you guys next time with another video.